Hey guys, welcome back to Tony's Autos. In this video, I'll be showing you how to change all hardware IDs on your Windows 11 PC. But before we start, hurry up and check out the software just under this video. Let's get started. So, if you want to change all your hardware IDs on your Windows 11 PC, well, this one is kind of complicated. So, first, let's go and discuss what is a hardware ID. Now, Hardware IDs in Windows is basically a unique identifier, identifier that the operating system uses to recognize a specific piece of hardware, like your graphics card, your sound card, or USB device, or even your, like for example, your network adapter. Now think of it as like a fingerprint for your hardware component. Now the thing with this one is, uh, it's kind of complicated. So if you change your hardware ID, you may violate violate some of the agreements when you purchase your device like for example softwares uh, uh, softwares may require you to provide a valid uh, hardware ID so if you do change that you may need uh, you may be violating the uh, apps uh, contract so usually you have like a user agreement in there so you may uh, unintentionally violate that so I would highly recommend you to double think if you really want to change your hardware ID but if you really want to proceed with that well there's a few things that you need to do so first things first is you want to go to your search bar here and you want to go and just type in so following. It's going to be reg edit or just type in registry editor. Now let's go and open it up. Now in the registry editor here, what we need to do is you want to go ahead and expand computer and you want to look for the HK local machine folder here. Go ahead and expand that. And under that, you want to look for software. Go ahead and expand that as well. Now in here, you want to look for the Microsoft folder, expand that. And you want to go and just scroll down a bit here. Look for cryptography. Now, you don't need to expand this. Just click on cryptography. And you should see two values in here. You have default and machine GUID. Now, the thing with this one, if you right-click on the machine GUID here and click on modify, you should be able to see the value data for your machine GUID. Now, you can go ahead and basically uh, replace this if you want. Now, how do you replace that? Well, what you need to do is you want to go ahead and generate one so you want to open up any browser just type in guid generator and typically you may need to search one that you can trust now typically the first second one can you can use that but again you may need to do some research here which platform you want to use but let's go and use the second one now in here what we need to do is you want to go and just click on the generate a, a guid and once you have generated one go and click on copy and you just need to go back into your register editor here and basically uh, add the value that you want to set it for. So once you've added the uh, value for it, you go ahead and just basically save it and you should be good. And that's about it. And so if you found this video helpful, hit the like and subscribe button and watch our next video.